Hey everybody, welcome to Medling World. Today, we're gonna show you some boat transportation from here at Hollywood Studios right over to Epcot. And it does stop <clears throat> at several resorts, so come on in, check it out. So guys, if we're coming as we're exiting out of uh, Hollywood Studios, you can see here on the sign, boats to the left. So you exit out there and you kind of go that way to the left. And just to give you a little information as we walk over here, this boat runs from Hollywood Studios. It will stop at the Swan and Dolphin, which is a Marriott owned hotel that is in the Disney Springs area. Then it will make its way over to the Boardwalk, the Beach Club, and the Yacht Club, uh, Disney Deluxe Resorts, and then finally ending up over at Epcot. So you have a lot of different options there. If you're staying at any of those resorts, you can utilize that boat to come to um, here to Hollywood Studios or to go to Epcot. So it's really a cool thing to do. Actually, we parked here. Uh, we just made a vlog of uh, Pizza Rizzo. So we decided, hey, let's let's do another vlog. So we're gonna take the boat ride over. So we're gonna show you how it goes to Epcot. And then if you wanted to come back, it would just be the opposite. You would get on at Epcot and you would come all the way back here. You do stop at each one of those resorts though. So it's kind of a relaxing ride, uh, but I think it's great if you're staying at any of those four resorts there or five, I guess, because uh, the Dolphin and the Swan are two separate resorts. So let's go so we have pretty good timing because you can see the boat coming in now and what's nice is it's shaded here guys so you're waiting in the shade underneath that little area there so not just shade but this time of the year especially summer a lot of rain so you can stay dry and again there's hollywood studios right there so it, it is a good good means of transportation especially if you're going to park hop or like i said if you're staying at any of those resorts i was telling you about but Let's go ahead, let's get in the queue in the shade and let's jump on board. I don't know if you guys can see that big bass one. Look at the size of that, it's huge. There's a little turtle there. So lots of fish swimming around. Some more turtles. So they like to hang out over here. And I would assume the reason why is people probably throw little popcorns and little food in there for them, which is not advised, but hey, you know, Everybody's got to eat, right? I will say there is outdoor seating. I'll show you Jake and Roberta. Very, very limited outdoor seating on the ship, but it is what it is. Although inside you have plenty of area to sit and they will pack this up. You can't get, uh, there's people on really busy days. You can stand in there. Um, you can get inside over here, wherever you can fit, and kind of just squeeze in. So, we've decided to sit out here, because I do want to show you a little bit of how nice it is, right, as you are cruising. So, the nice thing, Roberta Jake, I think you would agree, Disney does a nice job when they're transporting you, yeah. because you get to look at cool stuff. Yeah. So, we'll be on our way in a moment. And, first stop, Swan and Dolphin. They also do have accessibility if you're in a, whe a wheelchair or a um, electrical chair here, they will lay this down, this ramp, and you can come right in. And you don't have to sit back here. You can sit right here. They have some reserved areas. I know it's loud, so I did want to point out, if you're sitting over on this side, it's very loud. That's where the uh, motor is. This side, not as bad. But let's see how loud it is once we get moving. So guys, yeah, uh, actually Roberta and Jake went inside only because Jake, you see how he wears those earphones? He has certain noises kind of bother him. Not all noise, you know, loud music he likes and just certain pitches, certain sounds that can cause him anxiety. He doesn't like, this is one of them. That's why I'm talking loud, but they went and sat inside because it's much more quiet. But you can see as we're just moving right down the line, guys. It says we're kind of cruising through now we're under the bridge. I'm noticing there's actually a walkway and it goes all the way because I see people walking on it. So you technically could walk. 
from at least the swan and dolphin anyway because that's where the swan and dolphin are uh and i would imagine probably from the yacht club beach club or boardwalk so yes there is actually a walkway all the way as well Disney World property. Really, really awesome. And again, 
and you can walk. You can walk all the way here over that bridge and all the way back around. So lots of options as we head over to Epcot now. This is the stop for Epcot. I do like very nice cover for your rain and shade. And then you also have the option of, guys, the Skyliner, which can bring you right back to Hollywood Studios. It also stops at the Riviera Resort, the uh, Caribbean Beach Resort, Pop Century, and Art of Animation. And I have a whole vlog that shows the entire route and system of the Skyliner as well. We're gonna head out this way. But I was curious, I wanna ask Roberta and Jake, Jake, was it hot inside? Like, is there AC in there or anything? Uh, it feels like there's AC in there, it wasn't that hot. Wasn't too bad? Yeah. All right, let's get Roberta's opinion. And then a couple other pieces of information I wanna give you. So Roberta, I asked Jake already. Yeah. And you weren't near us, so now I want your opinion. Yeah. Inside, I, I stayed outside, guys, because I really wanted to <clears throat> show you yeah. some good, you know, footage. How was it inside? Was it hot? Was no, there AC? It was not hot. It didn't feel like it was AC either, but it didn't feel like hot. Was maybe. it too bad? No, maybe because they don't have it strong right now because it, does, it wasn't too bad. Right. But outside was very noisy. So if you do have sensories, yes. so you may want to uh, try to take a spot inside. Also, it does take 25 minutes around average between parks. Right, and one hour after park closes, after park either closes. way. Correct. So you have up until an hour after. And Roberta, I was mentioning as we were coming through, you don't just need to utilize this to go to park to park. You can yeah. go to resort to resort with it. Correct, yes. Especially coming from the beach and yacht club straight yes. over to the boardwalk. Yeah. Now, coming the other way, you'd have to stop here and Correct. then go, but it does save you walking. And in Disney, yeah. save your energy, especially guys, we're getting into the summer months. Yeah. Stay hydrated, stay in the shade. That's why I was talking about shade and rain. You'll get a lot of rain now. Yeah. Um, it's a great it's a great way to you to like the park hopper, especially like Christmas time. When we oh, can it's check great. It out Christmas. If you have park hopper, this is the way to go. Yeah. Even if you don't, you can go into the park. It out, yeah. It's just another option. And uh, you know, you can always take the Skyliner back or come in the Skyliner then go back. Yes, Especially absolutely. if you see there is a lot of clouds. There is a very good chance that for an example the Skyliner will close. It can. So in case the Skyliner stops then we also have the boat transportation. Yes you do. Yeah. Be prepared though. Correct. Boats will stop with lightning. Correct. They will not Correct. operate. If it's drizzling and things like that they will go but if heavy rain with lightning they will not operate. Guys, thank you so much for watching Meddling World. Please take a moment, subscribe to Meddling World if you haven't yet. There's Jake hanging out in the shade. And last but not least, see ya!